Bulletin Man sits down finally to join you on August 16, 2012. I am alive. I am well. Back up here in Piney Park for the time being. I've been in Crawford County the last couple of weeks. I'm actually trying to make some money and get some videos put together uh, for not only the campaign, but also some other projects that we're working on down there with some of the canoe folks. Um, business this year is off. We're down about 25, 30% across the board. And uh, maybe it's the drought, maybe it's the 100 plus degree weather, or maybe it's the fact that gas is $4 a gallon and everybody's not back in school. Um, maybe the fact that uh, the real unemployment rate is 25 or 30%. And over 50% of the country is now on some sort of government assistance, aid, welfare, social security, whatever uh, it is. Um, the America that I grew up in is long gone. Now, the good news is it can be restored. And it can be restored peacefully if the powers that be just simply walk away. You've been found out. Gig is up. News is out. We finally found you. And really what I've been trying to lay down over the last 16 years is my right to go in there and blast you motherfuckers out of there if we have to. Now, I don't want to come down to that. I really don't. And I hate to use that word, but that's what you are. And you guys did in Ollie Mae Johnson, folks over in Jefferson County, and how you did Mr. Weber in Crawford County, and how you've done the Mazarings and Mr. Bass over in Steel Hill. You're motherfuckers. And you're going down one way or another. Now, we want you to leave peaceably. And we pray you do. But we have every right to remove you by whatever means necessary. Including but not limited to the use of force. Now, we're not going to go out and kill you like you do other people. Like in Crawford County, I know of two murders been committed by one cop. He's still on the force. I know of other couple of suspicious murders and some other funky stuff going on down there. And that's why I'm running for coroner. It's because I'm going to deal with you, Mr. Satterfield, and your cousin too, whoever Lieutenant Colonel Sean Satterfield is, and everybody else over at the Crawford County Sheriff's Department who is aiding and abetting your crimes against the people. And that would be from the office of the prosecutor, the judges, down to the dispatcher who dispatches you on your crimes. And you think we're playing games? Well, I ain't playing games much longer. I have every right, duty, responsibility to throw off the government when it becomes destructive to what it was designed for. The whole point and purpose of our government, our Constitution, is to protect and maintain our God-given individual rights. And when it fails to do so, it has failed its chief design. And it's really up to the people to dissolve that government and to establish new government, which is in accordance to the principles of the original Constitution. Now, a lot of you folks don't even realize what the hell is going on. Especially you in law enforcement. Most of the court clerks have not a clue. But if you're a circuit judge, if you're a prosecuting attorney, you know what's going on. And it ain't going to fly anymore. No victim, no crime. Do you understand that? The body of the crime. In Jefferson County, Seven years ago, I think it was yesterday, August 15th, Amanda Jones, who was nine months pregnant, came up missing. The only one had method, motive, means, and opportunity still walks the streets of Jefferson County. He actually teaches at Jeffco, Jefferson County's college. And he's gotten away with murder. The reason why? Nobody. It's called the body of the crime, corpus delicti. Got to looking into it. it. Took me 10 years, 12 years to figure it out. But I got to figure it out now. And like I said, no more Mr. Nice Guy from the Bulls, man. 
You know, I'm, I'm saved, sanctified, born again, on fire for Jesus. And if you are too, and what I just said about them being motherfuckers, because that's exactly what they are, offends you, I'm sorry. But I cannot find any better way to describe the scope of the fraud and how low down and dirty the whole 911 crowd has become. We have every right to remove you people anytime. Morally, I have the high ground here. I'm going to read this to you and I'll let you get back to your business. You don't see it that it's because of us this is happening. Somebody has to take the blame. Will it be you? You sat back and believed what people told you. You thought you had a vote. You thought you had a police. You thought you had rights. Well, where are they? Where are your rights now? You've been been bamboozled. You've been hoodwinked. You've been less misled. Will you allow it to continue? There are executive orders in place. The military has been positioning themselves. The world leaders have been prying properties in other countries. Kissinger just bought property in China and you think your guns are going to save you? You think your hatred is going to save you? You think your ignorance will save you? When will you people learn? When will you get it? It's all about division and distraction. While you are watching your programs on the tube, whether it be the television or the YouTubes, or playing Farmville, they're putting everything into place. But you don't care. It could never happen here. They'll never do anything like that. Our government would never give syphilis to our kids. Our government would never test syphilis on our own military. No, not our government. They were there now. Destroyed four buildings in one day. Well, they would never assassinate one of their own. No, what was I thinking? I apologize, but excuse, excuse this message. I know finally how we got here. Well, I know how we got here too. And I know the answer. On September 17th of 2012, it's Constitution Day. And the Constitution was ratified on September 17th of 1787. So that would be the 226th year of the Constitution being ratified. You have until September 17th, 2012, Mr. State Courts Administrator, Circuit Judge, Lawyer, judge, policeman, to stand down and really just quit because you can't revert back uh, to constitutional government. It's too far gone. You guys are fired. Uh, we're not waiting until the election to fire your asses. It's over. It's done. And I'm being generous, giving you a month to do it. But you're getting out of our house. Oh, he'd like to see you go peaceably. But if you want to try to resist, well, you're going to meet your own fate. You will be arrested. You will be tried. And once you're convicted by a jury, not of your peers. <laughs> Actually, yeah, they will be your peers then you will be executed for the crimes you've committed against the American people and for the little children. You guys are, you guys are like hacking up little babies. You got to go. You got to go with blood money and federal money you are taking. So go. This is the bulletin, man. I love you enough to tell you the truth. The gig is up, the news is out, we finally found you. I thought you had it made. Well, party's over. See ya.